So here we are at PRGE with Load Runner and Dion Olsthorn. Yes. A very exciting release. An official Load Runner TM. It is. Don't yeah. forget the TM. Yeah. Uh, you've been working with Tozai to release this amazing game. Right. And uh, it is astounding. How? What has the reaction been to people coming up and going, oh, Load Runner, what? Yeah. On the 2600? Yeah. That is so I was, impossible. I was here this morning and I, indeed, a lot of people are looking here and saying, Load Runner? Is that Load Runner? <laughs> yeah. Does it work like the original game? Like, yeah, it's, it has the AI. Yeah. People like it when the developer is around. So, um, yes. for some reason. And, um, well, yeah, they can talk to you and find out more about the game and, yeah. and get excited. And yeah. So what? And, and some people are also asking, like, what's inside? Like, right? What's the magic? What's the magic? Is there, is there magic? Yeah. And I have to explain. Yeah, there's an arm chip in there. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of help. A little you know? bit of help. Yeah. Uh, you have to explain it so it's not just rerouting all the graphics uh, directly, but it's. You really have to, to program the Atari still, the TIA and, and yeah, stuff there, like that. There is yeah. no getting around that. Right. You always have to deal still with the Atari right. to work the display, right. to do the sound as well. And that, that's still the fun to me. Yeah, you doing have to, the kernel, right? Right. You have to wrestle the TIA, doing the kernel. The kernel is still the kernel. You get a little help, Yeah. but it's still there. Um, the yeah. magic is still there, and that, that's the fun for me. Um, yeah, and it is quite an expansive game. You took the original yeah. Load Runner, all the levels, right, and crammed it somehow onto the 2600. Yes, with a lot of help from uh, it was help from Thomas Jens. Thomas Jens helped help me squeeze these levels. Down. Right. Yeah, we worked together for a couple of weeks. Yeah. To um, find the best way, basically, to to uh, um, code all the levels into the memory. Uh, so we tried run length encoding, Hoffman encoding, yeah. all, all type of different things. And, and the interview that we had on the show about Load Runner, yeah. you finally came to a very interesting way of encoding it. It's around the screen, circling to the center, right? right? Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, so initially, what we did is we, we took the, the 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 horizontal way of the levels and saying, okay, if we do uh, runtime loading horizontally, yeah. that's going to really help, and not for the levels that have a lot of letters. Yes. Uh, yeah. or if you got a lot of stairs, you have to do it the other way around. Yeah. So eventually, I had different ways of encoding the things, like one for levels with a lot of horizontal platforms, uh, okay. one with a lot of letters. Yeah. But even the code, the assembly code in the in the arm was taking up space. Okay. So there was a bit, a bit of gain there, but but just using one. Uh, selecting one, it's easier. Then you don't have to flag each level. To, exactly. To different encoding. Because a flag is also like one bit, That's at right. least. Yeah, and, and it's uh, on the 2600, one bit is a lot. It's 150 times one bit, and it was too much, really. Yeah, it's which is funny. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. What uh, What was Tozai's reaction when they saw? How amazing this game was on the 2600. Were they like yeah, ast they're... astounded? Like, how did you make this work? Yeah. So, so those are uh, Sheila and Scott. Yeah. Uh, and, and Scott was, I think, that was both really saying, okay, this looks really good. Yeah. Um, and I sent them some videos of gameplay. Yeah. So they get like the feeling of, okay, this is close to the original game. Yeah. Um, and they, they really liked it from the beginning already. Because I imagine. Uh, they're very pr protective in terms of they are. making sure that it's quality You're right. when somebody is making either a derivation of Load Runner or going back to the original right. you know, levels and the game that everybody kind of started on. Uh, and they are. They're, they're protective to their IP, which is, which is totally understandable yeah. because that's the reason why Load Runner is still here, yes. even on the modern platforms, basically. Because you, know, you see some games and they get distorted and there's terrible right. versions put out on other platforms and people right. go and eh, that kind of sucks and then what and with the, the, same, with the same, same goes for the artwork by the way with from david Exton. right he showed them the original he showed them the artwork his first uh designs yeah they were completely fine with it it's like yes wow. this is well he's wh when you look at artist. it you can see okay this is load runner there's no right. weird things going on it's, it's not a distortion of what people would expect yeah, yeah. Like they, they see the cover of, of the box and they go this right. is load runner this exactly represents yeah. Load yeah. Runner. yeah yeah that's great so 
um, people coming up to it and playing it, and it plays exactly the same. So they, it's a very comfortable kind of game to play on the 2600. It is, um, yeah. And I think a lot of the best developers here, such as yourself, um, take a lot of care to make sure that somebody who's really familiar with the original game yeah. can just go to this one and pick up and play it. Because uh, from a personal standpoint, I was never really good at Load Runner yeah. until I became a beta for tester me. Yeah. on your game. And now I actually know how to play Load Runner. Yeah. And yeah. that Thanks. happened a lot with a lot of these uh, these games that are sold through Atari age. Yeah. And so you said that, that happened to you yeah, as well. I'm, for, for me, uh, building a game is all about the details. I want to have it like really close to the original but still playing a bit different because it's it's Atari yeah. right so you, yeah. you're limited small adjustments. there are adjustments but it should feel the same basically yeah um, and I, I explained to you in the interview that I'm using the original AI which helps yes. a lot really oh, that's that's really important because yeah. people are going to expect if I move this way, the enemy's going to move this way, and they don't have to relearn right. what they're so used to over the past multiple decades. For, for instance, you got uh, the, both three levels in the demo, so this is the full version, but in the demo, if you play them on uh, any other game like the Commodore 64 or the Atari, you see the, the guards do the same, follow the same path, basically. So if you can solve it here, you can solve it on all the platforms. Right, and somebody yeah. who's played the original game, this is the exact same level levels as the original game so yes. if they're really but good at the original game they can make and, and, and some of the levels are adapted because yes. I have like less space less columns less rows so sometimes it's smaller do you think, do you think that people are used to the old ones will notice they'll be like oh something's off or they'll just be like oh this looks like I know how to play this level enough have you had any feedback on that no no, no? because it's it's really hard to see you have to yeah you have to yeah. know because, uh, like I said in your previous interview, you probably just compressed spaces that were not really noticeable, like right. long lengths of exactly. runs, yeah. um, or ladders got shrunk, or th things like Stuff that. Stuff like that, so yeah. things that would just, oh, I, it doesn't take as long to get to the other side. Right, to keep the gameplay, the ladders are a bit shorter, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah so really inconsequential in the end. Yeah. You did have to make adjustments. Like all these games have to make adjustments for these platforms, and yeah. that has been the rule going through any kind of adaption to any platform. Right. It's either sound sacrifices, graphic sacrifices. And to me, that's the fun, right? Exactly yes. this. Yeah. You have all this limitation, but it has to be well, pretty close to the original. Yeah. And, but it but cannot be exactly the same thing. So it's no, it can. But the more important thing is to retain the gameplay. Yeah. And the yeah. fun. Yeah. And as long as you have that, and I know you did retain that fully in Load yeah. Runner, then people people will accept it if if the graphics are a little bit different, right. the sound is a little different. Yeah. And w what I did change is the the, the early games, the original, have like yeah, you start with five lives. Right. Yes. And you go through the levels and you can gain extra lives, but usually with five lives you end with level maybe six or seven and that's it. And that's and kind of a, a modern sensibility that you've right. added into this. Right, yeah. Uh, which is nice because people have uh, grown and adapted to the new style of play where people don't People want to keep going in the game. They want right, to see exactly. the later levels. Yeah. And so you've allowed people to do that, especially with a game that has 150 levels. It's a never, lot, right? Never seeing past, say, level 20 or 50. B back in the day when I was playing Load Runner on the Commodore 64, I, I played the first six levels. That's it. <laughs> like, you knew those inside out. Right? Yeah. And then I got stuck. Like, and, um, and even with your game, they could count their lives and go, OK, I, I have good. five lives, and I have to stop, and I have to go back to level one. Yeah, that could. Yeah. Yeah, so you can play it either way. It's yeah. nice to give options. Right, yeah. People. Um, so how have you found PRGE this year? Have you met a lot of the other developers uh, here? For me, yeah. If, if I compare it to like three years ago, yeah. I, I think the, the venue was, well, comparable, like, like size. Yeah. But this time I'm meeting a lot of more people from the Atari age. It's like... Yes, me too. I think, I think it's the culmination of having it not happen for three years. I guess, yeah. And everybody being really excited to be here. So this has been a great opportunity to yeah. meet with so many it's, it's developers. It's like the whole day when I walk here, there's, there's another 
person coming and saying, I'm this, this from Atari age. It's like, oh, wow, <laughs> yes. great. And, and having the uh, Atari age this, this works. helps a yeah, lot. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you're part of the club, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so it's been great uh, seeing you here and talking with you Yeah, again. great seeing you again. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's really exciting release, and I can't wait to see people's reactions to the full, full game. Right. I yeah. know the reaction's been amazing to the demo, and uh, it's exciting that it's finally out. Yeah, I'm, 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 I know a lot of the copies are sold already, which is good news, well, that's basically. Fully yeah. expected. I, I knew yeah. that this one would fly off the shelf because uh, yeah. it's such a great adaptation uh, to the 2600. And and I like how it looks on these monitors. They're really good. Super sharp. It, I it looks to, like. I have HDMI, to buy one. right? Yeah. Looks like uh, H HD. Right, yeah. Yeah, I have a couple of these monitors myself and I will not give them up. Okay, for yeah. Anything. Those Commodore monitors are so sharp. Yeah, myself, I'm, I'm developing on a small television old, it's very flickery machine, basically. But right, yeah. I have to get one of these. Yep, they're uh, getting expensive, but if you can I guess find so. one, yeah. I would definitely. I mean, uh, you're in Europe. Yeah. So the chances of you actually there, there's still one a lot of those. I'm much I'm... higher than getting them here. I okay, think. Okay. Yeah. There's cool. Big, big Commodore community in Europe. So. Yeah. Yeah. So it's great talking to you. Yeah. Great talk to you again. Uh, see you online. <laughs> okay. <laughs>